Hi everybody and welcome to Creative Cuts Flower Tutorial. Today we're going to make the Magnolia. This consists of uh, 13 petals, two leaves, a base, and a center base. Of course this, the center, the sunburst center. Let's get started on this. We're going to need 13 of these little jewels here. And we're going to need the larger base this is going to be a cut that's going to go in between the two layers and then we have the circle so let's get started here we're going to start off with the base we're going to cup it again we're going to use our stylus make sure you have a mat like this that's all this is is a uh, mouse pad that's upside down and it's got more give to it and you just start taking your stylus and you go in circles and rotate it if you notice it starts cupping and pulling the paper up. It's loosening the paper up and it forms it basically sculpting your your paper. We've got that one cupped. Then we're going to take the larger base and we're going to cup the same thing. Do the same thing with it. See how it comes up? That will hold your flowers up to form the flower shape. From here we're going to take just a dab of glue. I use the Scotch Guard Quick Dry Adhesive. You can use a you can use a hot glue gun if you prefer, whatever you're comfortable with. And let's see, start there. All right, I'm gonna put that right down, smack dab in the middle of there. Now, sometimes I take my stylus and I can, I do it again to get the glue adhered to it and cup it again together. So there we've got the the beginning of the base of the magnolia now. See the. All right, now we're gonna take our petals and what we need to do is make the highlights the in the middle the yellow highlights I've got a yellow copper marker that I used for this you can use any marker you want or you can use ink whatever your favorite medium to do these with I take it and I just do start the bottom let me see if I can get it around here start the bottom and go up just make some strips that's it several of them like that and for time purpose saving we've got several of them done yay magic we do lots of magic on these tutorials don't we all right from here we're going to take this we're going to take our stylus again at the base of the petal we're going to curve it we're going to cup it again get it soft and pliable and we're going to pinch it, pinch it, pinch it, like the, like so. Okay, it's going to come up. Then we're going to take and we're going to curl back the petals on each side, on the end of the petal, the outer edge of the petal. Going to take it and curl it back. You can use a toothpick for this or any other object that's round, small enough to get around there to curl it. And there's our first petal. There we go. And it's going to come up like that. And to save time, I've already did several of those. Several. So here we go. And we're going to begin gluing the each petal down to the base. So what we'll do is I'll take the back of the back of the petal. You must hold on to it first though. Back of the petal, dab a little glue on there maybe that's what my pin here is for a little glue there and begin applying those you're going to put seven in this first base seven of these petals and you can get these um, you can get the cut file for this magnolia at www.creativecuts.com that's cuts with a K creativecuts.com and along with the flower cut files you'll find numerous I think she has over 300 or more other cut files not just flowers but some adorable cut files you can add to your collection if you're into uh, paper piecing and even if you're not it does it's great for cards and altering things and uh, patterns for appliques if you're so it's great ideas for everything that's the beginning of a bottom of a base 
all right I've already finished the bottom a base over here so we're going to go on to our second step here which is the second base because we're going to double layer it we're going to take the smaller of the base the second base smaller one we're going to cup it as you see just like we all did on the all level and then we're going to glue apply a little glue there And from there, we're going to apply the bottom. There we go. Now, we're going to start adhering petals, the second layer of petals. The second layer is only going to require six petals. The bottom layer required seven. And, and we just start applying them in. You want to alter them. You want to stagger them so you don't overlap they'll look more realistic you don't want to mind up you'll have big gaps that's all we do here keep just line them up like that keep adding to them and there we go three more to go for our second layer after the second layer we're going to add the centers also check out her fan page on Facebook. There's always something going on there. She um, occasionally has games going on. You win prizes, free cut files. She's got, there's not too many days that go by she didn't have a new, a new cut file up and ready to go. New ones all the time. She's very, uh, very customer friendly. She takes requests and will, uh, pretty much try to make your customers happy. Alright, I'll tell the story. I'm going to need seven on this one. I didn't space it right. So let's do one more. Alright. There we go. It's not a science. It's just whatever works and whatever we can make work on here, this flower. And there we go. There's the number there there we go we got the beginning of it there we go now let's take this cut the sunburst cut and we're going to clip every other one if you look here every other notch you're going to clip into it don't clip so far you you cut it off or destroy it if you do we'll just do another one we're going to need three to four of these depending on how full you want your center we've got all those clipped again the magic word is we're going to cup it take your stylus and you see how it brings it up to the center like so from here we're going to start stacking a bunch of these I've already got more made here and we are going to add a little glue to center this one and add the center there usually use the stylus to help guide it in there, separate them or line them up. There's different stylus you can use. There's different, the, the ball, the end of the ball, there's different sizes of that. And um, you just pick the one you need. Larger areas, there's, I'll use a larger ball, the smaller areas, of course a smaller ball. I use um, the extremely small ones to involves with or to add you'll see later in a few minutes when we add the veins to the leaves and you just play with this add it push down get the center I've did three of these so far I want it fuller I want the center to be closed up more you can either play with it and bend them in or you can add another center the more you add the fuller it's going to be, of course. I'm going to add one more. Instead of the center, I'm going to put it at the bottom. So there is no right or wrong. Just add that to the bottom. To that one. There we go. And from here, we're going to add a little glue right in the middle of our flower here. Drop that little baby down the middle. This dies has um, the other end of it a little pokey. It's got a wedge you can use that to curl also with. And I just, there 
there we go. You form your flower the way you want it to look. And we've got the center in there. And voila, we have a magnolia. Now let's add some leaves to this little puppy. I usually cut a bunch of these out at one time. I've got the paper on there. I already have them up for my projects. So you're going to make a lot of flowers. It makes sense to do that. Put them in a little bag. Lay them. However you want to do it. That works for me. Alright. We want the flower to look real. It's not just flat. It looks pretty flat right there. So we're going to take the stylus. This is the larger ball here. You can see I get these from McGill. And you just run it across the edges. And down the middle. What we're doing is loosening up the paper, like always, make it pliable. See the edges it's adding, the little crinkles. It always makes it look real. And like so. Now we want to add a vein to it, so we just take our stylus and run down the smaller stylus and run down the middle. Run down the middle of it. Doesn't have to be perfect. Go down the middle. Then I take it and I fold it on that line to give it a little more of a definite bend and you can crinkle the leaf up a little bit and from here we're going to ink it I use the chestnut roan from Colorbox chalk and I ink the edges and I ink the vein if you lose that crease then you still have the color from the inking if you want to do the back you can do the back it doesn't matter up to you you might, well, it might be the front to some of you. Okay, that's that one. And then we add it to the back of the magnolia. Some people might want it that way. If you want it this way, you can do it that way. If you want a bigger leaf, some magnolia, you know, they have bigger leaves. All you have to do is when you have your cut file, you're in control of how big this flower is. You make it as big or as small as you want. I like them this way. I'm going to put it on the back. There we go. And voila, there is a, a leaf added to the magnolia. Add one more leaf, we got it made. <coughs> Don't need to check out um, her blog spot. Her, she's got an awesome, Cheryl's got an awesome design team that is always creating something new. Every day you can see something new on that from what some of the. Um, design members have made and uh, great ideas some of them sell some of their things on eBay from her cut files she has some like I say some awesome members in her design team and they are very very talented ladies and we want to uh, get a chance to go by there and leave some comments for them because they are they're awesome friendly sweet sweet group she's got some really great ladies and of course like I said before check out her fan page on Facebook always something going on over there check out Phoebe you have to go to the fan page to know what I'm talking about for Phoebe everybody needs a Phoebe check her out and um, Phoebe's there's always a Phoebe freebie on Monday Everybody likes a freebie. And Phoebe is her freebie. And that's on Mondays. So check out check out her fan page and her blog and her store, www.creativecuts.com. Cuts is with a K. Don't forget that. Look forward to seeing comments. Love to see your comments. If you have any suggestions on any other flowers you'd like to see us come up with please please leave us a suggestion leave us a comment on it and we'll see what we can come up with and take out our last leaf here done 